lot of been fear for winners and whiners trying to make you a better, better. And in college football, man, I'm on fire. I stumbled a little bit in the NFL, but I still have a well north of 75% record in my premium picks, premium picks, premium picks. And you're doing pretty damn well on the free videos as well. So rolling right along there, and it's expected. I expect it from me. I hope you do too. The best possible thing is uh, happening for Penn State this weekend. They are playing an Indiana team that is just, just uh, terrible. Penn State, of course, did the predictable. They went in to play Ohio State and lost. I I don't know if they're ever going to be. <laughs> I just, woo. Every year, Penn State plays this softball schedule, and everybody gets all hyped up, and they climb into the top 10 and yada, yada, yada. And then they play Ohio State and Michigan and lose both games. And that's the end of that. So now uh, let's see. Indiana, the Hoosiers, they don't do anything well, particularly. Uh, they've lost three state straight combined scores in those games, 127 to 38. This is a team that 20 out of the last 22 times they played a game in conference. They lost. Um, Penn State's going to be missing a few pieces on defense still. But this is exactly the kind of game that Penn State excels in. Beating up on crappy teams, especially coming off that big loss to Ohio State. Uh, get back out there and the coach will beat his chest again about how great they are. And oh, shut up. Man, and you know, go shine your head some more. Anyway, um, does Penn State have an outstanding offense? Yeah, when they play crappy teams, they need to get the ball to uh, you know their playmakers more, but their playmakers can't make a lot of separation. Penn State scored about forty points per game. They're allowing a, a, a low, a NCAA low nine point seven. But again, look at the quality of the competition. Yeah, I mean, they're very good on defense. They have a monster linebacker, a good line. Yeah, they're a very good defense, but they're not a great team. But Indiana is terrible. Indiana's allowing almost 30 points per game. They score only 17.9. It is a big, big number. But uh, I'm going to say that uh, Penn State covers the number here in this game, minus 27, 40 to 10. 42 to 10, 45 to 14, something like that. Penn State's going to score a bunch of points and tell everybody how great they are, and then they're going to suck when they lose to Michigan. A lot has been here for winners and whiners trying to make you a better, better.